What's going on guys, Gearing with 30 Second, welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Egglock Run. And of course, remember this video is a part of the Team Caterpie Takeover, so assuming you get it to 250 likes, you'll have to get into the video just 12 hours from now. Always want to remind you guys of that. And I have a bone to pick with Pokemon, more specifically the, co the company that makes Pokemon Game Freak. Because in Generation 1, they introduced a Pokemon who we now happen to have on our team. And that narrows it down to literally two Pokemon, I believe. And it's not Slowpoke, it's Sanchu. Game Freak decided to create this Pokemon named Sandshrew. It is a ground type Pokemon, later evolves into another Pokemon known as Sand Slash. I personally like Sand Slash, I think it's pretty cool. But there's an issue with this. I think Game Freak, for about five and a half generations, forgot it was a ground type. Like, yeah, they programmed in it, they programmed it into the game as a ground type, but something just seems a little, a little wrong here, in my opinion, as until Black 2 and White 2, Sanchu didn't learn any good ground type moves. It did learn sand. It does learn sand tomb in generation four, which can arguably called the worst ground, the worst ground type move, the worst offensive ground type move of all time. And it wasn't until it wasn't even in black and white. It wasn't until black two and white two, the sequels, when they finally realized, like, oh, this thing is a ground type Pokemon, not a poison type. Maybe we should do something about that, which on that record, I actually just thought about that. It's often discussed like Pokemon that should receive type changes, like Psyduck should be a water psychic type. What in the world is wrong with you? Sandshrew and Sandslash should totally be ground poison. I mean, they're like freaking ground scorpions, whatever. The mo thing, what I think of Sandshrew for the longest time, all I ever thought was poison sting. I should not look at a ground type Pokemon and think Poison Sting. That's why I never want to use Sandshrew in Generation 3, and for the most part now in Generation 4, because I would have to use TMs on it. If it wants to even use just Dig. Just Dig. That's not even a very good move, but just to use Dig, I would need to get a TM and teach it that. That's so frustrating. That is... I don't know, and, and Pokemon has done this a lot with like Pokemon not getting the proper moves they should. And that's one reason, like, I love Generation 3. I'm a Gen 3 baby, I love Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green, although I've, I've played them so many times, like, very glad I Although I was gonna say, I'm very glad I'm taking a break, that I realized I'm doing a Leaf Green Nuzlocke live. So, I guess I'm not taking that much of a break. But, ooh, who should I go into here? Squiggly, I guess. Um, which is probably a bad move, because he's gonna have moves that are super effective against me, but I can just then headbutt him, so... But Generation 3... It, until Generation 4, in my opinion, Pokemon had really bad move pools. At least a lot of Pokemon had really bad move pools. Like, you didn't have a lot of options when it came to your Pokemon. Like, that's probably why when I first started playing Pokemon, like, my Pokemon didn't learn a big variety of moves. And that's like, for like, my Blaziken, I would have two Fire-type moves and two Fighting-type moves. Because it just didn't learn anything else that appealing. And I didn't like Normal-type moves. And I seriously flinch, and then I miss... Is this really happening right now? Squiggly, get your eyes together. Stop, like, having squiggles in your eyes. Please just attack this thing. Thank you. Oh, wait, when did you even get confused? At least he broke through confusion. I guess I, I have to say at least that much. Like, at least he broke through the confusion. I, I can't complain that much, I suppose. But, yes, that was my little mini rant for Sandshrew. It makes me so sad that he doesn't get anything until Black 2 and White 2. I mean, at least in Ruby and Sapphire, at least in, um, Oros... It'll have ground type moves by level up, so using a Sandshrew in those games won't be as just so horrible. Plus, I just realized, like, by the time it could finally learn ground type moves, is to the point where we got reusable TMs. So, it learning ground type moves by level up don't matter as much anymore because you don't have to waste a TM on it. You can teach Earthquake to. I know, I'm complaining. And I shouldn't, this is completely irrelevant, but this Sandshrew. The first thing you sent this in, they, they could have at least put, like, Dig on it or something. That would have been helpful. No, it, it got, like, Crush Claw and Slash. Two moves that are virtually the same, except one is, like, five more base power, and I think it also has, like, 5% less accuracy or something. So, I know the person out there who, like, who, like said they sent this in. I think their name had Sand Slash in. They had, like, a picture of a Sand Slash on, as their icon. Why couldn't you put, it like, Dig? Just dig, not even magnitude. I don't even think it. You no, know, it can't learn magnitude in pre generation because magnitude isn't a TM. It might be an egg move. I doubt it. It. Eh, maybe. But. Why? Why would you do that to me? Give me a ground type Pokemon that's only going to get Sand Tomb. Do you realize how bad of a move that is? Whenever I play through, like, um. 
Ruby and Sapphire, or I, I, I want to use a Trap Pinch. For the longest time, all it has is Sand Tomb. And it's so sad. It's so sad, Tomb. That's what I'm going to put on my Tombstone. I'm going to put Sand Tombstone. That was a stretch. I'm sorry. I just I shouldn't complain about that. I, it's just so frustrating. And Nintendo has this... Oh, you actually hit that Nintendo. Like I said, Nintendo has that habit of doing that a lot. Although... One thing that I, the, in Generation 3 to Generation 4, we had the special physical split, and that was actually, I, I don't want to switch out, I want to wake up, I don't want to have to run all the way back to the Pokemon Center. Please, thank you for waking up, that's really helpful. Oh, I thought you put him to sleep, then I remembered Ice and Wind just lowers your speed, but um, in Generation 3, we had the physical special split, was, which was amazing to a certain extent, because it actually made some Pokemon actually usable, because before they were like physical attackers, but their type was like all special, like water type Pokemon, like Gyarados for a certain extent, or uh, Sea King. Sea King is a mainly physical attacker, but like all water type moves were special come Generation 3. And um, but then I realized, like I was thinking about this, I think I've talked about this before, in some cases the physical special split actually hurt Pokemon. Um, like, didn't make him completely unusable, but some Pokemon benefited from certain moves being physical when they shouldn't, like Gyarados, because Gyarados could use Hyper Beam, which normally nowadays would be a special move, but it was physical in Generation 3, and holy crap. Wait, I mean, we later did get Giga Impact, so I guess that kind of balanced out, but, um, it made sense. Like, Gyarados has Hyper Beam. He's a giant dragon. Why wouldn't he shoot beams at people? But then you think, why... Why is a move that is literally a beam of energy, a hyper beam, if you will, why does that do physical damage <laughs> when it's, I mean, you're not, you're not like grabbing the beam and hitting them with it, but then I think, well, why is Earthquake physical when you're not actually touching them, you're just shaking the grounds, but why is Earth Power special? What is... What is the difference there between Earth Power and Earthquake? Like, in both cases, the ground, the Earth is coming up from underneath your opponent and damaging them. Yet, what is physical, what is special? I'm sure it's just for, like, balancing and stuff, and... But it's, this happens a lot. Like, some moves that should, that sound special are physical, and moves that, like, sound physical are special. I can't think of any others at the moment, unfortunately. But, um... Actually, I, I probably can. Like, Stone Edge. Stone Edge, like, every time you see Stone Edge in the anime, every time it's, like, depicted in the game, it seems, it's like rocks flying at your opponent. But that's a physical-type move, even though the rocks are, like, using magical ro rock powers, I guess, to hit them. Am, am, I, am I taking this too far? Should I, like, not be complaining about this stuff? Speaking of Sanchu, let's bring out the Vanity Hour to take on Stunky here. With zero ground-type moves, we're gonna have to use Slash, but... I really want to use Sanchu. I like Sanchu. It, it's a really cool Pokemon, in my opinion, and I just... I wish it was more usable, but... I'll stop complaining about that. I said, wow, okay, Slash does actually quite a decent amount of damage. So the good thing is Sanchu actually has, like, if I remember correctly, somewhat decent attacks, but... Hold on, I actually have Sanchu's page up here right now because I was seeing when it learned moves, like, when it finally started learning grass type, ground type moves. It doesn't get a ground type move until 27, and that's Sand Tomb. Before that, it gets Fury Attack. Fury Swipes, Rapid Spin, Poison Sting, Scratch. It was giving it, like, the worst possible moves. The only move it gets that's somewhat decent, and and it gets Swift, which is special in this generation, and it doesn't need any freaking special moves. Oh, right, I'm not even on my emulator anymore. It, it doesn't need any special type moves. The first move it gets that's somewhat decent is Rollout, but you have to use Rollout for four turns before it actually becomes good. You have to deal with it like slowly building up power. And then after that it gets Slash, which we already have. Gyro Ball, which is okay. And its final move is Sandstorm. Poor Sand Shrew. <laughs> Although I was watching a video uh, from Trainer Zavaza yesterday, and I probably shouldn't have laughed at this that much, but he had a, um, I don't remember what the Pokemon was, I think it was Zygarde or whatever the, the legendary, like, ground dragon in 6th generation is, but he named it Darude, and then all he did was, like, use Sandstorm, it was like, I shouldn't be laughing at this, and I don't, I'm sorry if some of you don't get that joke, I didn't get the joke for the longest time, like, whenever somebody, I'd go into comics and somebody would be like, hey, what's the name of this song, the person would just be like, it's Darude Sandstorm, and, and I don't get it, and I finally looked up Darude Sandstorm, I don't recommend that, by the way. Interesting song. I think I've heard it before, 
but I didn't know the title of it, and then I actually heard the title of it, and I'm like, wow, well, I don't ever want to see this again. All right, Aurorin, this is your chance. Oh my god, my friend told me how to pronounce his name last night, and now I just can't remember. Aura, Aurorian, Aurorian? I have it in Skype. I should totally just look up Skype and find out, because I'm very dumb. All right, Force Palm will it kill. Oh, you're fast. Okay, fake out. You're not... You may not be faster. How much does that do? Uh, oh! Oh! Inner focus! We don't flinch! That's awesome! Oh, do we get the paralyze? We don't get the paralyze. Are we faster, though? Because another force palm... It might kill it, because it may max. I gotta go for scatter cut. Just make sure... Oh, you're faster, Scratch! So, wait. Scratch is the same base power as... I should have gone for Force Palm. I should have gone for Force Palm. I probably would have paralyzed. Oh, and I I, get, I have potions, but not exactly a lot of them. And you're faster. Oh, I'm in a bad position. I, I'm not 100% sure what my potion rule is yet. Man, go first. Okay, how much does Scratch do? That takes me down to 15. That is a perfect kill. Okay, so I'm going to use my second potion here. Also, my final potion. I guess it doesn't matter to potion roll for this battle, because this is literally my last potion. I haven't decided yet. I think... Like, in the wedlock, I did three potions per pair. I might do, like, three or five, maybe, like, five healing items per pair or something. Do I go for four? I gotta go for Skyper Cut, because I think Force Palm won't kill, because I'm in max damage. Don't get a crit. Okay. So... Oh, my God. No. No. Okay. Who's the best choice here? Squiggly, Squiggly, you have decent defense, right? 24. Actually, that is, like, really freaking awesome. Okay. I got a hair in my mouth. I wonder how I get hair in my mouth. It's not like I have long hair or anything. But, um... Faded... <gasps> what? Okay, never mind. I took that incredibly well. Um... Zen Headbutt. I can take another Fade Attack and live that as long as it's not a crit. Why do I say those things? Or mid-max damage is a thing. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. I have a fighting time move on Lelouch. We're not in a horrible position. I should outspeed. It's definitely not going to kill. And I'm so close to a girl bile. Oh, faint attack. Why are you not going for scratch? I get faint attack. Well, scratch with, with stab is the same power as faint attack. That does over half. That that does exactly half actually, and that's not gonna kill. Oh my god, you have it on oh, no. Of course you do. Of course you do. And you're faster than me. Do I go for Oh my god. Venom is super defensive. Remember Venom has like a base ninety uh special defense or physical defense. Do I still have Poison Sting? I can't remember if I got rid of Poison Sting for Pin Missile or not. Because it tried to learn Pin Missile, I'm pretty sure, and I can't remember if I got rid of it or not. Okay, I took that well. I still have Poison Sting. Do I confuse this? I think I should confuse him. This does... Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think I can live one more if it's min, ma if it's min. Or if it hits himself. That would be super awesome if you hit yourself. This battle was not supposed to be this intense. This is why I hate Perugly. I thought it'd be perfectly fine at level 15. I forgot this thing's 17 and it hits so hard. At least it doesn't have Slash yet. I mean, that's something I... Boy, Rock Smash is going to do nothing. I gotta, gotta go for Night Slash. Actually, Night Slash... Rock Smash is... I think Rock Smash no, still might be 20 in this generation? How much power is Rock Smash? Oh, it's 40. So Super Effective would be 80. And Night Slash is 70. So Rock Smash would actually be the better choice for, like, the first time in the history of Pokemon. Because Night Slash isn't stabbed yet. Please. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, please, Rock Smash. Maybe you'll kill. Oh. But we got no defense drop. That literally doesn't matter now. Can we live another one? How much have you done so far? You've done 23 to us. Which in half is like 11 to 12. Oh, we can, we can live. Well, maybe I can switch out. Maybe you'll hit yourself. Man to who? Sancho, can you take a hit? What's your, what's your defense like? 32. Okay, you have really high defense too. I need you to take this hit. Holy crap. I need you to take this hit. Or, or I need her to hit herself, actually, preferably. That'd be amazing. Scratch. 28. 2. 18. Oh my god. We, we can live another one, and we're going to kill this thing. Or you can hit yourself. That'd be also wonderful. 
Nope, scratch. Okay, no crit. We lived it. Slash win after yelling at Pokemon for making you so crappy earlier. You just killed the Perongly. Holy intensity. That was freaking insane. Oh. <sighs> I think I used almost every Pokemon I have in this battle. That was actually really... Like, that got my blood pumping. That was awesome. Like, I didn't lose anything. I, I like to think I played that somewhat. I can't believe I missed Skyper Cut twice. If I would have gone for Force Bomb, this would have gone entirely differently. But, as you saw... No! No, that's right. We did lose a Pokemon. Squiggly died. Oh, Squiggly. Man... I completely forgot he died. I thought I made it like all the right plays and lives. But, I mean, if I would have just gone for Force Palm before, that would have taken it down just like a sliver. I could have switched into Trico and I could have quick attacked it. No, because it had to Ornberry. But maybe I would have paralyzed it. Oh, I, can't, I shouldn't focus on like the, the what's and ifs. I really, really shouldn't. But at the same time, I'm just going to keep thinking about that. But, I mean, here's Looker to try to chase up. Oh, yes, it is you, yes. I have heard from the Team Galactic appear at this power plant, yes. I have the four keep running, yes. So the Team Galactic, where are they, yes. Oh, you'll run them off, you say. Oh, you're a traitor, but yes. Very well, I shall go investigate inside. Do you not, do you not trust my word? Do you not trust the word that I just sacrificed one of my Pokemon to stop Team Galactic to, to save people? I don't give a crap about it. I'm never going to talk to again. I gave up my squiggly. Superb! Though you are young, you are trained to throw through. Very well, I shall pursue the comrades. I have received tips that Team Galactic hideout is in Turner City. To there, I must go off. Yes! Bye bye! Okay. Bye. Squiggly. Okay, so before we head back to the Pokemon Center, I am going to go over to 205 really. Oh, that's right. All my Pokemon are like practically dead. Why did I do this? I was going to say, I'm going to go to 205 and go catch my Pokemon, so I don't have to run back and forth, and then I realize, like, oh, right, all my Pokemon are, like, almost, oh, my water type is dead. <laughs> um, roll out? No, you have a fire type move. Okay, that was actually the work. Okay, that's actually really good, because... I don't know how that's good. I haven't figured this part out yet. I have no healing items. I literally just got out of the fire and immediately stepped back into it, no pun intended. For once, no pun intended. <sighs> really? Did I, did I seriously mess this up that badly? And I'm a bug type, I just realized I'm not dark poison. This is happening right now. Okay, that's cool. Maybe you won't go for a fire type move. That, that's a very realistic possibility. You went for tackle. That's actually perfect, because now I can... Absorb isn't going to do anything. I got a quick attack. Maybe this will get a crit, like a super crit. Oh my god, that did nothing. That did nothing! Why? Wait, what? You're faster, you're faster, oh. This isn't happening right now, this isn't happening right now, this isn't happening right now, is it? No, it's not. I'm, I'm clearly just daydreaming this. Sanchu, you can end. Oh my god, Sanchu, slash, maybe. Ember, I don't think that'll kill. We resist that. Of course it does. Oh. Uh... Oh, this is just the absolute stupidest thing I could have done. Ember, yeah, okay, we all know what's happening at this point. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. I beat the monsters per ugly. And then I immediately wipe out to a Ponyta. Because I wasn't thinking, I should have just gone back to the Pokemon Center first. That, that... You know, I have this nickname. It's called Best... Oh my god, I have three fire types. Why? <laughs> Why in the world do I have three fire types waiting in the box for me? That's completely stupid. Okay, well, it's a damn good thing the next gym is grass. <laughs> and we can only catch... 
Actually, we could catch like four new Pokemon before we get there, so we should actually be fine. Um, as at least trying to get some diversity, but that that literally just happened. I just got swept by a Ponyta. I had like the perfect team, and I, I better go get a Pokemon first because I'm gonna run out. Um, I mean, at least oh, I didn't even level Monkey up. At least I mean I can use Karama now without feeling too guilty. Yeah, Karama. Oh, where am I gonna even do training? How am I? Well, I could probably get back to the earlier routes without any problems because we've beaten all the trainers. Although running away from enemy Pokemon could be an issue. But that really just happened. Well, this is awkward. Um, if it wasn't obvious, that's gonna do it for us today. I'm Hardy Tech Yo Yo, and everything just died. Peace. Oh.